filming sea life from above is about capturing contrasts. It's about balancing light with darkness and witnessing the things in between. Sometimes it puts you in places where you capture things you can't believe are happening. So often, where some see beauty in nature, others see fear. No other place have I experienced such contrasts as in Florida. From incredibly beautiful eagle rays gracing the shallows to manatees roaming freely, I soon discovered Florida is a special place for sea life. Its biodiversity means it's home to many of our favorite sea creatures, from sea turtles to nurse sharks. Interactions like this are an example of the symbiotic relationship nearly each animal has with each other in this place. Undisturbed by humans, a lone tarpon pursued this school of fish for nearly an hour in a fashion that can really only be seen from above. Whether by coincidence or perhaps by purpose, the tarpon roamed the area alongside a shark, both at times knifing through the school in what could be described as a strategy by each species. The fish, they swirled together in unison like a symphony of nature. This swirling action is believed to be a defense mechanism utilized to make it hard for a predator to pick out an individual fish. It's the ultimate use of strength in numbers. Another advantage of these movements of unison is efficiency created by fluid dynamics. As a school, individual fish can use the draft created by those ahead of them, thus consuming less oxygen. Studies have suggested that when fish swim in schools, their endurance levels are two to six times greater than when they are traveling alone. It's very possible that both the shark and the tarpon in this scenario are using much more energy. One thing is certain, however, watching this predator prey chase is incredibly beautiful from above. Whether it was manatees cruising the shore or dozens of sharks traveling together, Florida's coast is one that is spectacular. It was evident to me this environment must be treasured. Perhaps no other sea creatures are as spectacular from the air as spotted eagle rays. They are a species currently protected in Florida and are recognized as near threatened. They are prevalent along the coast, but something else is also. Sharks. Usually found in shallow sandy beaches near estuaries, they play a vital role in this biodiverse region. And much like California, it doesn't take long to find a shark nearby. Here too, you often see sharks close to humans, near the coast, and just like the white sharks in California, they don't appear to be all that interested in humans. Sharks are the staple of a healthy coastal environment. This one is a nurse shark the most common shark along Florida's coast. In 2016, Florida was declared a global biodiversity hotspot by the Critical Ecosystem Partnership Fund. This list represents some of the world's most remarkable places that are also the most threatened. Florida's coral reefs are vulnerable to the effects of climate change due to the high population concentration around the coast and the large amount of pollution in coastal waters. It is rich in sea life that depends on a balanced and clean system. Although I did not find white sharks, I was able to film sandbar sharks, black tip sharks, and an occasional bull shark. Like most coastal regions, sharks share their home with humans. In most cases, the humans have no idea they are nearby. Perhaps it's the urban distractions that make humans oblivious to these sea creatures. It's easy to see an urban place like this and forget there's a whole new world just steps into the water. It's a contrast of life, one above and one below. And in between, there's a battle beginning, one 
that I was unfortunate enough to witness. One that has led to a fleet of fishing boats on a special mission. That mission on this day was one that I never expected to see. A shark fishing tournament had begun. The goal to kill as many sharks as possible. Like a Navy fleet invading an enemy, they filed out of the marina with orders in hand from their leader. They set off to their favorite fishing location. The inevitable was in order. And even though they tried very hard to take my drone down on multiple occasions, I was able to capture them baiting sharks close to the boat. This is the first step to killing one. If you look closely, you can see a hammerhead shark amongst the rest. It is obvious what is happening here, but at least for the moment, they dared not try to kill a shark. Not with eyes in the sky looking down upon them. Or did they? The following may be hard for some of you to watch, but they are images that must be shown. I will let the images speak for themselves. Again, some of you may find these images disturbing. They are a stark contrast to the beauty I found in Florida just the day before. 